Her Royal Highness is accompanied by Ian Hewitt, Chairman of the All England Lawn Tennis Club, and Sandy Proctor, President of the LTA. Her Royal Highness Keen Tennis Player herself was perhaps on the verge of Fedra just before the start of the championships. for the chairman, Ian Hewitt. First, please show your appreciation for the chair umpire, Louise Aismar Engzel. First, bring on the final, where Louise went off without a hitch. Now, to the runner-up, Onjabur. The second in a row, the big finalist. The day that promised so much for her. And the ladies singles champion for 2023, Marketa von Drusseva. the first unseeded ladies champion in the Open Era. I know how painful this is for you. So incredibly difficult to, to put into words. I know how much you wanted this title, but just please, just give us your thoughts. I'm trying to speak because this is very, very tough, but uh, and I'm gonna look ugly in the photo, so <laughs> it's not gonna help. Um, uh, I think this is the most painful loss of my career, so. First, I want to say congratulations to Marqueta and, and her team for this amazing tournament. You're an amazing player and I know um, you had a lot of injuries, so I'm, I'm very happy for you. Um, I don't know, I'm just, uh, it's going to be a tough day today for me, but uh, I'm, I'm not gonna give up and uh, I'm gonna come back stronger and then when it doesn't need it. And despite the loss, Ons, I hope you should be so proud of how well you played during the course of the two weeks. You beat four former Grand Slam champions to get to your second Wimbledon final. 
Yeah, it's, uh, it's an amazing tournament for me. I, I wish I continue until the end. Uh, I want to thank my team for always believing in me and uh, we're going to make it one day. I promise you. And just finally, I think you only have to listen to how much these people love you and how much they love your game. You still inspire many women and children and people all around the world. Um, thank you guys for coming. Thank you for cheering for me. The energy is amazing from day one here at Wimbledon. I uh, really appreciate your support. Uh, it's been a tough journey, but uh, that's tennis. And uh, I, uh, I promise I'll come back one day and win this tournament. On Japan, ladies and gentlemen. wonderful tournament and what a wonderful match you played today. Just sum up your emotions. The first unseeded woman to win here at Wimbledon. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what's happening now. It's a, you know, amazing feeling and uh, yeah, I mean, aunt, uh, congratulations and uh, you are such an inspiration for all of us and uh, I I hope you're gonna win one day you know you're an amazing person and uh, congrats guys you are do doing amazing job uh, yeah after everything I've been through you know I I had a cast last year this time so uh, I'm just, you know, it's, it's amazing that I can stand here and, and hold this, you know, it's, uh, tennis is crazy. <laughs> it certainly is. I mean, it's hard to believe you were here watching last year. You were a tourist in London. You had wrist surgery. As you say, your hand was in a cast. How did you come back and do what you've just done in this last two weeks, beating five seeded players along the way? Uh, <laughs> I don't really know, you know. Uh, the, <laughs> the, the comebacks aren't easy, you know, you, you never know expect and uh, yeah after the second one you know I, I was playing the small tournaments and you know I was hoping I can I can come back at this level and uh, you know now this is happening so uh, I wanna I wanna thanks to my box you know uh, all of you guys are amazing you know my my little sister she's crying out there so <laughs> We've got to mention your box because, of course, Stefan, your husband, has made it here. He was cat sitting to you back home for two weeks <laughs> and he managed to find another cat sitter. So, how special was it that he made it here today? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's amazing because tomorrow is our, our first anniversary of, you know, our wedding. So, uh, that's the present. <laughs> I hope he's going to treat you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's an amazing to have, uh, to have you guys, uh, you know, being here with me and uh, I just enjoyed the two weeks so much, you know, it, it was exhausting, but uh, I'm just, you know, so, so grateful and proud of myself. Well, you certainly should be. Now, just before we let you go, I know you're a bit partial to some tattoos and I understand you're going to have another one to celebrate. Have you decided what you're going to have? Uh, I don't know, but I made a bet with my coach. Uh, he said if I win a Grand Slam, he's gonna get one also, so I think we're... <laughs> so, uh, I think we're gonna go tomorrow. <laughs> okay, you're going to go tomorrow. Oh my yeah. goodness, well, good luck with that. <laughs> And just finally, how are you going to treat yourself and perhaps your team as well tonight? Uh, I, I think I'm going to have some beer maybe because uh, <laughs> it was really, you know, exhausting two weeks and, uh, you know, I just tried to get myself together for the few last days and uh, I was just so nervous before the game and uh, I'm just really grateful and uh, thank you guys, uh, everyone, for support and, uh, you know, coming here. <laughs>
Wonderful start from on the centre court. And for Marketa von Drusseva, what a way to have a premature celebration of your first wedding anniversary. For Ron Jabeur, though, that was so moving in shades of, of Jan and Avotner in, in 1993 and of Andy Murray, actually, in 2012. And both of them came back to win it. Um, Navotna took five years married with it the following year. But the crowd have taken to her so much. And here's a line. Billie Jean King, the last woman to win this title unseeded. In fact, the last woman to reach the final unseeded. Marketa von Drusseva, the first ever to win it. Unseeded, unexpected, unheralded, unsponsored. An extraordinary moment and an extraordinary match she played and, and what amazing skill to be able to come back from the position she has been in, from staring defeat in the face against Jessica Pigula, from getting through to this final and being the last phase. Tracy Austin is with me. You were courtside to witness all of this. And from the very early stages, Von Drusseva was able to not let Javert run away with it. Because Javert could have been leading five love that first set. Yeah, Ons got up two love. And there were opportunities in the next three games for Ons to win those. And Von Drusseva, as she has been doing all tournament, she just defends so well. She gets that extra ball back in play. And she's so difficult to play because she gives you the different spins, the different speeds, she uses the length of the court like so few do. She'll draw an opponent in. Then they'll push them back. She uses the drop shot beautifully. And I think most of all today, she was just so even keeled mentally and emotionally. I think this moment for Ons, it's been a, a tough time getting there tennis wise because she's had a very tough draw. Three times had to come back from winning the first set against Andres Andrescu, against Rabakina, against Sabalenka. And it just came out a little flat today. And the combination of the disruptive game from this young lady who handled the moment beautifully it was just a bit much. She's now Wimbledon, Wimbledon winner, but also a member of the club. This is just incredible. The most unlikely champion, but well deserved. And bear in mind, she's only 24 still. Mm. It is another new name on that trophy, on the list, on the honors board. Venus Rosewater Dish is such a gorgeous trophy. I think it is one of the most beautiful trophies in sport, actually. She says getting to the finals of Roland Garros 2019, playing only four games against Ash Barty, getting to the finals of the Olympics in Tokyo. There were no crowds because of COVID. But she said still those moments were going to help her today. And the way that she handled the crowd, because the crowd was, was for Monstrebo, they weren't against Andrusova. Same yesterday against Svitolina, who's from Ukraine. Andrusova checked some messages on her phone, and they will be full of love, and that, and she may even call her husband, actually, to be <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I, I thought her response to the, to the crowd was, that, that almost made her sort of go again, because she knew how much everyone else wanted it for her and how much they all supported her and even von Drisper in her winning speech said you're such an inspiration on you're such an amazing person she gone so well liked in the locker room she's loved she's got such a endearing personality a warm personality people take her in and i think her story coming from tunisia a small country in africa most unlikely to come out of there uh, well, that, do you know, I wondered if that might happen because the Princess of Wales is a hugely empathetic character and I thought, I'm sure she will want comfort on it because it is painful when you want something this much and I wonder if there are cases where you can want it too much and that can actually grab your, your natural style. Exactly, and you squeeze too tight. Ons had 31 unforced airs today, that's unlikely. Uh, she had only served at 48% of her first serves in, where Jabur has been serving so beautifully the entire championships. Remember, she's had a couple of injuries to contend with, so Jabur came into the championships a little undercooked. 
And this lady right here, she came into the championships on grass with a total of four victories on the surface in her entire career, and now she has seven in the fortnight. It's a, a wonderful turnaround. She's really adjusted. She's figured out how her game, how her slices, the drop shot, the power injection midway through points can really work for her. And we talked to Martina Navratilova before, in the very early stage of the program, about this incredible list of Czech women who have reached finals. And Martina obviously represents the USA, but is Czech born, a winner here nine times. Jana Novotna, a winner here in 98. Petra Vitova, a winner here in 2011 and 2014. And now Marketa Bondrusova. And, and that, be that belief that you can and that, and that you belong, and particularly the advantage, and we talked about it before the match started, the advantage of being a left hander. Yes, and just a couple of oh, hours is wonderful. Oh, that's nice. Bonjabur leaves the court, and for the second year in a row, she has come up just short in the final, but my word. The crowds have really taken to her as one of their own, and they will be behind her again as she comes back to challenge. She said to her camp, we are going to make it one day, I promise you. And she said the same to the crowd, I promise one day I'll come back and win it. But right now, she reflects on what she said was the most painful loss of her career. But for Marquette of Andres, for a, a second Grand Slam final, but a first Grand Slam win, and to repeat the headline, Marquetta von Drusseville becomes the first ever unseeded player to win the women's title here at Wimbledon. That is extraordinary. Underlines the, the unpredictability of the women's game and that sense that anybody can, that, that at any given stage, any 